Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos. In this video we're going to be looking into Lady Sun Shangqiang, one of the craziest heroes in the entire game, an archer super rare available in the hero shop at the time of this recording, but you can get her as a legendary skybreaker hero as well. Legendary, that's the kind of support you guys are showing me by using my supporter creator code Loka Hansen in the Epic Game Store in the Battle Breakers game. Remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my support to create a code or a link. Being an archer means that whenever she hits something with a basic attack, she will break their armor for 3 turns allowing you to deal more damage to them, which is pretty cool. She has decent stats, nothing like game breaking amazing. That is not at all why this hero shines. It's not about her basic armor breaking, it's not about her stats, it's not about anything of that it is about the combination of abilities she has 400 attack to a target and dealing 400 percent attack at the start of every turn for eight turns that is her special it only has a three turn cooldown meaning that you can stack this multiple times and when you combine that with her lightning reflexes ability what you can see is that she will hit two targets each time she attacks crazy she will create nature terrain that spreads giving you potential crazy bonuses as well and as a commander she will deal 150% attack to full health targets she can critically hit and she can dodge this is the max evolved max promoted maxed everything version of the hero this one is level 1 unevolved and you can see we have only 150% attack for 4 turns and only 75% attack damage to the secondary target that you attack each and every time and of course lower bonuses for critical and commander bonuses but let's take her in for a drive in a 180 level trial what i want to demonstrate in this trial is how crazy lady sun shang Xiang is look at that we have a new target nothing special because her ability is not active now I'm enabling her special ability dealing 400% damage and she will, as you can see there, attack anything that appears at the start of every turn. She will attack one time, but due to her passive lightning reflexes, she will attack two opponents and she will deal 400% damage to each and every one of them. On top of that, I have her as a commander. This means that she will deal 150% damage to full health targets. So she is dealing 400%, that's 600% damage to full health targets and she will do it whenever the turn starts. So if you discover something, bam, she will deal crazy amounts of silly damage. You can stack the ability, meaning that you can have it running for, like mine lasts eight turns and the ability has a three turn cooldown so you can actually have two of these running at the same time allowing you to attack four targets for 400 percent damage every single turn that's just one of the cool things about her her attacks spread nature terrain so when she shoots now the nature terrain under the target is there and it will explode like that revealing more enemies giving you coin combo multipliers allowing you to get risk taker bonuses for mana and pet charges if they if we have existing opponents on the board and the terrain spreads to reveal more things you will get a risk taker bonus so she will allow you to get passive kind of damage just hitting anything that appears on the board she will give you mana back when the terrain spreads she will give you a better coin multiplier she can attack things even if she is stunned and on a cooldown because her ability allows her to attack even when she is on a cooldown she will attack every turn when this twirling green symbol is above her mana and hit point bar meaning that no matter what you're going to be facing she will shoot it making her completely bollocks crazy because it's not just a basic attack it's a 400 percent attack and you can hit the same opponent more than one time so it is there is a reason why lady sun is one of the most like used heroes in the game even though she is a nature element hero making her ideal against water element heroes that is what we're up against here 
for the sake of demonstration, we're up against where she deals the most damage. But even if you are up against other element opponents, she is beyond crazy because you can get like constant damage out of her. She will always hit something unless we have a situation where you have stacked the ability multiple times and she clears out some of the opponents with her shots then she will actually attack the blank spots well she has a chance to do it because opponents were there when her attack was triggered so you have a chance of firing blank so to say but all else equal she will demolish almost anything that appears on the board as you can see here we got four opponents boom lady sun removes them no need to do anything else it is a carry hero unlike anything else in the game so now we're up against a boss in the highest level of the trial that we can find she's probably not going to be able to one shot this because she will randomly attack things but look at that four attacks eight attacks ten attacks and we almost have Kaldin the demi dragon down completely crazy board clearing monster boss kind of crazy paints removal it is unbelievable how much power you get from a single hero so should you buy lady sun from the hero store if she is available there and you don't have her normally i would say no if it is a hero you can obtain from the skybreaker because we have so many good heroes that we just need to have for progression for collecting for completing different trials maps different situations in the game but in regards to lady sun i would say if you don't have her and she is in the hero store and you can afford to buy her buy her right a freaking way she is probably the single most important you can a hero you can secure in the game that will just allow you to trailblaze through a lot of different types of content so is she a good hero she is a crazy hero. This is as of version 181.1 of the game. We have an update coming to the game today. So I guess I shouldn't really be making this video with an update right around the corner. But it has been weekend. I'm back. I'm ready to go even more into the game. Looking forward to the update, of course. But I kind of wanted to share my thoughts about Lady Sun for those of you out there interested before we get the new update where... We may or may not see a meta change, but I'm not expecting them to nerf Lady Sun further because she has already been nerfed a little bit last year. But anyway, guys, that was what I had to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much for liking, commenting, subscribing, subscribing, yeah, and watching, being freaking awesome. I absolutely love you guys.